Welcome to another episode of The Read Pile. I recently mentioned that Farscape has a Kickstarter, and by the time this goes up, the Kickstarter will already be over. But it is, uh, let's say, 8.30 on Saturday the 9th. The Kickstarter is still running. I finished reading this. This is the first volume. Is it numbered? It is numbered. Uh, this is the first collection of the Farscape comics that Boom put out many years ago, honestly. And... I, I bought this many years ago, never read it, and now I've read it to try to decide whether or not I want to um, buy into the Kickstarter. And there's an entire conversation that we could have about publishers using Kickstarter when... <laughs> there's a whole conversation there. We could also have an entire conversation about um, reward levels and tchotchkes, basically, unrelated to comics. Um, just a couple of days ago, they re they announced that uh, the actress that played Chiana is going to have a, a headshot, some sort of, I don't know, you can get a photograph of her. I, <laughs> I don't know why you announce it, but don't show the picture. Like, uh, I don't know what I'm buying at that point. Hey, whatever. 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 The question is the comics. And they do spend a single paragraph talking about the creators that uh, created... All the comics. Um, I will talk about this. Um, at the moment, I am undecided about whether or not I'm going to back. Based on reading this, and uh, again, a small amount of research that I did into the other volumes, um, I don't. Uh, I am not backing at a physical level. I will not pay fifty dollars. I think for each of the hardcovers. I just don't think the art is, frankly, up to snuff. Um, the the cover art here is painted, even if it sort of missed the point, like she's not in this, and a major character that is predominantly um, in this is not shown, which is odd in itself. But um, the comic is largely okay. And the best thing that it has going for it is it gives a great character moment, um, a major plot to one of the longtime standing um, characters from Farscape. I was a huge fan of the show. I remain a huge fan of the show. I would ideally like to watch it again. But um, when I got this, I, I knew that the comics existed. I was curious. I grabbed the first and then I just never got around to reading it um, to decide whether or not I wanted to buy the additional. And now what I'm thinking, so I'm, I'm a bit torn. <clears throat> I could grab the other physical volumes possibly on the cheap right now if people are replacing theirs with the new hardcover collections. Or I could just back at the digital tier, grab everything. Because I think, here's what I'm trying to get to. I would read the story once in order to hopefully get more great character moments like what happens here, but I don't think it's good enough to read more than once, so I don't need it on my shelf. I will read it, and then I will let it go. Um, that is what I'm ultimately saying about this. The, the writing is pretty good. Honestly, Crichton is kind of the worst. So Crichton was kind of a precursor to many of the characters that exist in media today. He's uh, very quippy. Um, everyone has a nickname. He makes tons of references, Earth references to the things, you know, while he's talking to aliens that nobody else is going to get except for the audience. And um, there's something about the actor saying all that, Ben Brower, Browder, um, that comes off well he's charismatic he has a there's a speed a cadence to his delivery that everything lands really well that does not necessarily translate to the written word i find Crichton annoying here and that in itself is kind of annoying because Crichton was great um aaron comes off as great chiana is also uh, well written in the comic but again there's something where the actress brought something to the character that doesn't quite translate into written word scorpius is always a dick um pilot i can hear the voice of pilot in my head while i'm reading this um rigel comes off really well it's it's just um 
something is a little missing, something is a little lacking. And there's a space battle in here, and uh, it's hard to tell what exactly is happening at the time. Uh, it ultimately doesn't matter because they succeed. And, spoilers, they succeed. But uh, it's 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 this sequence here, and I'm just like, what the what the hell is what is happening right now? Anyway. So I'm I'm not a huge I'm not a huge fan of the art. It seems like each volume had a different artist. Um, there's multiple inkers and I think colorists in this. Yeah. So I, I at least this comes off with a level of consistency. And then, like I said, each volume I think has a different artist team. So I don't think there's consistency really from one volume to the next. It's, I, I don't know. It's, it's solidly okay. And I'm glad that I read it. I'm glad that I got the story that's in here, but again, I will never read it again. Um, I will point out that there is this, and I have not gone through this, but, um, O'Bannon, this is, I believe what he sent to boom, what he sent to the writer that then got developed into. So it's a pretty detailed summary of events as far as what is happening in the story and um, then from this uh, the co-writer expanded everything out into actual a comic script so it's okay that's what I'm that's what I'm ultimately saying um, I would like to read more and just not own it so that's where I'm at but again by the time you see this the Kickstarter will already be over so I don't know. I read it. This is me talking about it. <laughs>